Drought conditions during the 2012 growing season affected not only plants above the ground, but they're also having an impact on the nutrients below the soil's surface. UNL Extension soil scientist Charles Shapiro joined us earlier this week to talk about the varying levels in recent soil tests, including the amount of nitrogen found in sampled fields. In our dryland crops where they were very droughty, uh, most of the samples or a lot of the samples coming in are showing high levels of nitrate, which makes sense because uh, the crop did not remove it and there was very little or no leaching. So what was put down last May or June is still there. What about the irrigated crops that really did pretty well across the state? Yeah, they should have used a, a fair amount of uh, the end that was applied, and they might have even uh, used more end than was applied. In that case, what we probably have had was increased mineralization. In other words, the natural soil organic matter, uh, when it gets irrigated weekly, like a lot of fields were last year, uh, the microbes are working full speed, and so they actually mineralize more end than in a normal year. So. Uh, what we're thinking is that it's very f field by field, but there may be a fair amount of N even in some uh, high yielding fields because of the warm weather and the water that was put on through irrigation. When you say that the levels are high, especially in those dry land areas, how high? I mean, how, how much different from normal from a normal year are they? Uh, we would normally think that there could be three to five part per million in the surface and some of the people are reporting 10 to 15 which would mean that maybe there's 50 to 100 pounds uh, in the surface compared to normally maybe 50 in the whole profile. It really depends on the situation and so you need to take a soil sample to find out what's in your field but you know if you can find 50 pounds of extra N the cheapest end that you could buy these days is probably around 50 cents a pound. So 50 pounds of N is $25. It, it certainly would pay to utilize what is already there. Right. Describe to me where in that profile it is. I mean, is it is it all in that surface in the first few inches or is there more down below? What they're finding uh, from those who have sampled is that it's mostly in the top eight inches, maybe the top foot. And so as we, we normally recommend taking a 0 to 8, 8 to 24, maybe 24 to 36 inch sample, getting a full view of the profile. Uh, in this year, this may be an exceptional year where the top foot would be adequate. Uh, since we're finding very little end below the top foot, one could sample the top foot and assume you know, very little below it and make the calculations that way. What are you recommending for application, uh, whether it be before planting, with plant side dressing? I mean, what's the, uh, what's the recommendation this year based on what you expect to see? If there's a lot of nitrogen in that top foot, then one could put some in on early, uh, you know, 30 pounds, either partially in the starter or with a herbicide just to kind of cover non-uniformity, get the crop going. Once the roots are established, it would take that in. And then based on your yield goal and other factors, you could side dress in uh, the rest of it. What about the other nutrients in the soil? What are you seeing there? Anything abnormal? Uh, on my experiments up here at the Northeast Station, we're pretty much dry land. And I have two long-term studies that I've been testing basically the same plots for 10, 20 years. And in those uh, areas in the field, I'm seeing an increase of maybe 10 part per million phosphorus, which is above and beyond what one would expect by either crop removal or added P last year. So the dry weather uh, has done something to the chemistry. So if you are sampling the fields uh, or farmers have sampled fields and they see some uh, higher than what they would expect levels, I would either resample or use your old uh, samples or just use caution. They probably haven't risen as much as maybe the soil test would indicate. Charles says the fluctuating test levels suggest it's important to check residual nitrate levels in fields this spring, both following corn and soybeans in 2012. If fields were tested last fall, Charles says those results should still be fairly accurate since this winter hasn't been overly wet or warm.